Welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today we're doing a more in-depth look at the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio 2. Uh, we got this about a month and a half ago. We've done an unboxing and a first look video and that's already been posted. But since that time we've done some more intense benchmarking. We put this thing through its paces and then a little bit of gaming since it does have that dedicated graphics card. Uh, we've checked out the camera, the speakers, uh, we checked out the screen, we got the Microsoft Slim Pen so we did a little bit of drawing um, and we checked that out and so we want to bring all that to you here right now but first let's go over the specs real quick. Uh, it's a 13 has a 13th gen i7 processor, 32 gigabytes of memory, has a NVIDIA RTX 4050, and then a one terabyte SSD, 1080p camera, and then Wi-Fi 6 for your connectivity. Um, I really like this particular unit. It has three different modes. It has the laptop mode, uh, where you can also do media consumption and uh, also do work uh, if you want to. Uh, but then you flip the screen out. And what I mean by work, I mean productivity work. Um, you can put it in the studio mode like that, and you can uh, consume um, media this way, YouTube, Netflix, all that. Uh, it's pretty awesome. And then if you have a um, like an Xbox uh, joystick, you can play games uh, this way. Um, then you got this other different mode, and that is the tablet mode. And like I said, I got a Microsoft uh, Slim Pen and we did a little bit of drawing. Uh, but this is pretty nice. It, it is heavier than like my iPad Pro. I also had a uh, Samsung uh, S9 not too long ago. And, and this thing definitely is uh, weightier than that, a little bit hefty. But uh, you do have that mode. And uh, I think that's pretty cool, a three in one. Anyway, uh, like I said, we did a bunch of stuff and we want to bring that to you right now. Let's get into it. All right, we're testing out the 1080p camera and I'm going to go ahead and do some typing. Okay, not sure. I'll have to review the recording to see if I hear the keystrokes. Uh, it's The camera's not too bad. Um, yeah, good enough for conferencing calls anyway. We did a quick check with our SpiderX Pro on the screen, and we got 100% of sRGB, 100% of Adobe RGB, and 100% of P3. This unit comes with the Quad Omnisonic speakers, with Dolby Atmos, we're going to check out the speakers, see how loud they get. And we're going to use Epidemic Sound. It's a, a subscription that I belong to. And let's go ahead and go with High Tech by Rocket Junior. Forty-two percent. Too bad. Uh, you can hear just a, just a, a little bit of distortion at the top at 100%. But other than that, they sound pretty great. They don't get extremely loud, uh, but loud enough. We're going to go ahead and check out the screen. And uh, one thing that I like about it, let's get it into tablet mode here, is that it is a 14.4 pixel sense flow display. Resolution is 2400 by 1600. That's uh, 200 uh, pixels per inch. Refresh rate is up to 120 hertz. And then the aspect ratio is 3.2. Contrast ratio is 1500.1 and color profile sRGB and vivid. It's individually color calibrated. Uh, it's a VESA Display HDR 400 certified, and it also has a 10-point touch 
multi-touch screen, uh, which is from Corning Gorilla Glass 5. So uh, lots of stuff there. Let's go ahead and hit the new whiteboard there. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and just start with a blank. So we're gonna do a little bit of drawing here. And I will tell you the the Microsoft uh, Slim Pen is a little bit more comfortable than my iPad uh, Pro Pen, my Apple Pencil. Um, and the Apple Pencil itself has a little bit of a harder tip, so it's a smoother on the glass where there's a little bit of resistance with the uh, Slim Pin here, which I kind of like better anyway because it kind of feels like you're writing on actual paper. Not uh, like the Samsung uh, S9 uh, Pro, uh, S9 tablet series, but because uh, those are by far the best in my opinion uh, when it comes to uh, writing and drawing and just look and feel uh, the experience is a lot better but this is this this is not bad um, so we're going to go ahead and just do quick and you can see here where there is a little bit of a delay if I go faster here but um, it doesn't ruin the experience for me whatsoever, um, and uh, it, it's fairly accurate, so it, it's not bad at all. Um, I, like I said, I like this uh, this experience a little bit better than the uh, uh, iPad Pro with the uh, Apple Pencil. So anyway, let's go ahead and erase. There you go. Uh, and then there's a number of buttons here uh, where you can use it for gestures. Like I could do that, and launch that, and now it's come down here, select again for more options, erase partial strokes. Lots of different colors you can choose from and thickness. Um, and then with this, uh, the Microsoft Slim Pen, Slim Pencil, Slim Pen. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this back up. The charging happens underneath the front lip of the laptop and it's charging right now. And that is really secure. Um, I've, it takes a little bit of effort to get that uh, pencil off the laptop. It's magnetically um, attached there. Unlike the my iPad Pro, I have the iPad Pro 12.9, and with the Apple Pencil that sits on top of the tablet uh, while it's docked in the uh, keyboard, um, it's it always falls off. The magnet is not very strong, and I've had to actually replace the Apple Pencil a couple times now uh, because either it's landed on the tip and broke, or I've just lost the pencil altogether. Anyway, uh, like I said, I like this experience a lot better. We started out with some benchmarking using 3D Mark, and we started with Time Spy. And then we moved on to a storage benchmark. And then a CPU benchmark. And this has a 13th gen Intel Core i7 13700H processor. We also leveraged Geekbench 6. Uh, we got a single core score and a multi core score, as you can see. And then we also got the GPU score. We also used a uh, blender uh, where we got a CPU score and a GPU score as well. We also leveraged Cinebench. Usually Cinebench is our first uh, benchmarking tool, but uh, we use this one for the last. We played a number of games uh, on medium settings because that's where we got the best performance, like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, where we were averaging around 77 FPS on average on medium settings and then also Hogwarts Legacy uh, where we, all, we were also um, getting about 75 to about 80 FPS on average. 
Uh, we did a number of other games, but we thought these two were probably reflect uh, most of the results that we were receiving throughout. So that's it for the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio 2. Uh, I think this is a pretty decent unit. Uh, it's very, very sturdy, very little flex. Uh, the quality of build is really pretty good. Um, the trackpad was decent. The keyboard was okay. The IR camera was okay. The screen is decent. Um, uh, and I like the fact that it has three modes that you can use it as a productivity, uh, media consumption, and uh, uh, a tablet. And you can also game on this because it comes with a dedicated graphics card. I will say that this one came with an RTX 4050. Uh, there is another version that you can get that has an RTX 4060. Uh, it's a little bit more money, but uh, there is that option. I got this out on the Best Buy website for about $2,700 without tax, so it was closer to three grand. And I had to buy the hub separately, the slim pin, and I also got an external slim pin charger. That was my own choice, uh, which totally put me over three grand uh, for this particular unit and the accessories, which I, I needed the hub and the pencil, but I'm not necessarily sure I need the external pencil charger. It wasn't worth it. I think there's less expensive uh, options out there uh, that you can get for you know around two grand, maybe even less if you look hard enough. Um, I think with this you're purchasing also the Microsoft ecosystem and uh, just the fact that it came from Microsoft, the logo and all that. Um, and I just don't think it's worth it uh, for over three grand in my opinion. But, uh, you know, if you have the money and this is something that you really, really want uh, because of the different uh, ways you can use it, then go for it. Um, you know, uh, who's going to stop you? After that, um, I would say uh, look for something uh, different, in my opinion. Another thing to consider, too, is... Uh, I was at the Best Buy store, local store, and uh, they have this uh, cage in the middle of the electronics portion of, the, well, in the computer portion of the store, and it's for those uh, assets or those uh, devices that have been returned uh, because the person decided that they didn't want it or didn't need it or whatever the, uh, whatever the reason being. And uh, the Geek Squad there uh, went ahead and either refurbished it or uh, they checked it out and they said, no, this thing's okay. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Let's go ahead and resell it as a at a discount, like 150 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever it is. I saw a lot of these Microsoft Laptop Studio 2s in that cage. And that was a little bit of a red flag for me. Um, and, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. I just think that people get them and they like them for a little bit and they think, oh, why did I spend so much money, three grand, on something that I can get for less after searching? And so a little uh, buyer's remorse, I guess you could say. Anyway, uh, that's just at my location. That may not be everywhere else, but it, consider it if you're looking at one of these. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. It helps the channel. Not only that, it gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. And for that, we thank you. We'll see you in the next one.